going on guys? This is Kevin from the Thrifting Lounge and I want to make a quick video. I know I haven't made one in like a few years, I think three or four years, but uh, I'm starting to come back a little bit more now. Uh, really kicking ass the last seven months since I started selling on eBay. But anyways, I want to just do a quick video just to show that you know you can go out and you can find places to, to thrift or even buy to resell anywhere. Um, for instance, I went out to my dry cleaners to bring a bunch of clothes that need to be altered and dry cleaned and then uh, while I was there the guy told me he's like hey I know you're you're a reseller you come in here a lot he goes I have some stuff that nobody picked up you know and I was thinking that you know probably dropped off some bunch of bullshit or like stuff that just has stains in there it's, it's bad quality and people forgot so yeah the first one I grabbed and I saw was an Eileen Fisher and if you know me I don't just sell t-shirts or, or menswear I sell men's women's new used vintage doesn't matter anything to make a quick flip and make a quick a good buck on um, I'll sell it so um, anyways as soon as he said Eileen Fisher I was like all right all right he's got some real stuff let me go look at this stuff so he get I got this uh, Eileen it's like a poncho I got this for about eight dollars. Um, probably try to make like 40, 50 bucks off that. And then uh, whenever I see these cable knit fisherman sweaters, and they're made in Ireland or Scotland, I grab them. It's either Aryan Crafts. Um, there's a couple of the companies I always look for, and one is Carriage Dawn. This is really good bolo brand for uh, for these type of grandpa cardigan sweaters. Uh, I got this one for eight dollars too. I'll probably turn around and try to get like anywhere from thirty-five to fifty bucks off of it. I tend to price my stuff high, um, looking for best offers, which are just usually like 25 30 percent off, and that's exactly where I want to get my um, my prices to be at to get them out the door. Uh, another one I got this. You know, I don't ever really pop on Ralph Lauren, but as of late, I've been selling them. Uh, so I got this. I told him he wanted ten. I'm like, no, I can't do it. There's not much profit for me. So he gave it to me for five. I'll turn around, and flip this for twenty five, thirty five dollars. You know, again, low end twenty five, which I'll probably go at. But again, this is just it's quick. I literally did no work for this stuff. I went in and uh, I just wanted to get my stuff all a few alterations to dresses and then uh, dry cleaned on a couple of my uh, sport jackets. But this is cool. I thought it had stains on it, but this is actually a Ralph Lauren. It even has an orange polo player on it. But what's cool is that it has um, a marlin. And it looks like it's bleach, but it's not. It's actually part of the shirt. So this is a pretty gnarly shirt. And then it goes on to the back of it. So this, I don't know, I haven't seen ones like this. I'll probably try to get 40, 50 bucks off it. Again, paid five bucks for it. And this last one, I've never heard of this brand. Um, and that's rare for me. I usually know almost all the brands. Uh, Dirk Bickenberg's. I guess it's some sort of like country, country brand, like Western brand. And uh, the dress shirts go for pretty good money. But I never, I didn't get to see one with an orange sleeve. They did have a long sleeve with a different sleeve color, and that one went for like $150. Uh, and that was the solds. I don't, you know, I only go through solds and, and try to find comps to do that way on eBay. Um, so I'm gonna probably try to, I don't even know how much one of this is for. Again, I'll, I'll list high, maybe $80, $90. Who knows what I'll get. I'll take anything over 50, but not bad for uh, $5. So one more thing I wanted to show you before I get out of this video. Uh, I end up going after work, I get out of er uh, work early. Yes, I work a regular nine to five job like everybody else. And, um, but I'm always trying to hustle no matter what. So on the way home, I haven't been to this antique uh, mall in a long time. It's been a few years. I really ever, I basically never pick anything from an antique store uh, mall. It's good for research, like going to these places and seeing what sells for antiques and stuff. But I never pick things up. But today they had a 25% off sale because it's like New Year's Eve. And uh, so I'm going to show you what I actually grabbed. A couple of these things could be pretty good items. Um, but anyways, I'll show you right now. So yeah, while I was out and about, I was uh, I saw this pretty cool sign. It's made by Pennzoil. Um, I actually don't even know if it's a maker. It looks like a little folk art. Kind of like a folk art artist made it. It's got a nice chain. 
and everything. Um, and it's got this cool, if you can see the side of it, 3D feature on it. Comes out like two, three inches. But it's pretty cool. I bought that for like $24. Um, I didn't see anything else out there like that. I'll probably try, I'll list, again, I'll list it high. I'll try to get like 150, 200 out of it, but I'll take anything over 100. Uh, I bought that for 22 at the antique store uh, mall. Again, they're usually like, their their prices are absolutely ridiculous at any antique mall around my area. They're usually like retail plus, uh, no joke. And then I picked up this nice Ferrari hat. You can see Ferrari right there. That's pretty nice. Hold on, I don't know if it's out of focus. There we go. Yeah, Ferrari. And then I saw this one, it's pretty cool. Again, I only paid five bucks for this and then five bucks for this plus 20% off each. Um, this is pretty cool Aston Martin Red Bull Racing uh, F1 hat. And then it also came with the inside. So thank you guys for watching. You can catch me on uh, Thrifty Lounge. I'm probably gonna put this on YouTube. It's been a while, whatever, put it out there. Uh, Instagram Thrift and Lounge and uh, you can also join our Facebook Thrift and Lounge we just hit 20,000 people in that group so again I've been doing this for a while now just getting back in the swing of things this video is probably gonna suck just like my original video when I if you go back to my videos on YouTube you go to the first one it was horrible